The coolest thing about my job is I help researchers from all over Canada and the world study global scale scientific questions using atomic scale laboratory techniques. I prepare samples for radiocarbon analysis on Canada's only accelerator mass spectrometer. An accelerator mass spectrometer measures atoms or isotopes, and those isotopes are used like a fingerprint. They can tell you how old something is, how long it's been buried for, or where it came from. The thing that's unique about an accelerator mass spectrometer is the three million volt power source. With this unique capability, we can measure some truly novel isotopic fingerprints. The main contribution of the A.E. Lalonde AMS laboratory is that we're training the next generation of researchers. Being part of a university, education is an important part of our work. People always ask me what's the strangest thing I've ever radiocarbon dated, and I didn't have a good answer until I recently received an entire penguin toe. I was surprised that it was a thousand years old. Our work affects people's lives because we measure radioactive isotopes and we measure more than just radiocarbon. Uh, one example is tritium. Tritium makes your exit signs glow and a little bit of tritium can enter the biosphere. So they plant vegetable gardens outside the tritium handling facilities and measures the tritium to make sure that the people living near that facility are safe. I'm motivated by the researchers that I work with. I know how excited they get to receive their data and it's very rewarding when they provide feedback. What made me pursue earth sciences is my love for the outdoors. I saw geology as a hands-on science and I saw it as an opportunity to travel and so in a way my job is a new adventure every day. The biggest challenge for me in earth sciences was the very first year of undergraduate. You have to take chemistry, physics, biology, math, all at the same time, but I successfully finished that year. Once I got to the second year, I was taking a lot more geology courses. I absolutely thrived in the program. My advice for girls is to study something that inspires you. We live in a world of opportunity and it can be very difficult to figure out what you want to do and how to get there. But I believe if you follow a path of inspiration, then any young woman should be optimistic that she can have the career of her dreams.